Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna look at a an old old retro laptop. This one is from Toshiba, Toshiba Satellite. And if we take a look at the model number here, then it says Toshiba 220 CS 1.0. 4 gigabyte of hard disk model number here power supply serial number and it's from Europe and as you can see here you can maybe you can yes you can <laughs> you can just pull off the CD-ROM drive let's just put it in again and we have something else here that we can open oh it's just a, a built-in battery that's easy to replace also. Probably dead. This one is <laughs> from the 19th, guys. So, uh, and we have something that's just a little loose here. Let me see, yeah. Two seconds, guys. Let's just open this one. There we go. Oh, it must be the 1.4 gigabyte. Yeah, built in two and a half inches Hitachi hard disk. Nice, and it's. Oh, this one has been upgraded, guys. Look at this. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's a 12 gigabyte hard disk. This one was not born with with the 12 gigabytes of hard disk storage. So it has got an upgrade. There we go. Oh, this one. Uh... Oh, okay. This screw goes in here and it, it, it holds this top side with a metal holder. So when we are at it, let's just open and look in here, guys, and see what's inside. Can the camera pick that up? There we go. Look at this RAM block. I have never seen nothing like this before. A gigantic RAM block, guys. <laughs> so you can upgrade with something over here. It's got a connector for something, something. But yeah, that must be a lot of RAM back then guys so let's just close this one together shut it down and put this on again and put it all together well this computer is actually two seconds guys let's just do this the proper way there we go now everything's perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. We got some audio here. Input, output, uh, audio, microphone, and this must be audio out for external speakers. So this is actually from my favorite DOS era and I love everything with General MIDI, Sound Blaster, AVE 3264, so I am anxious to know after looking at this uh, what sound card this one has because that's just for me for me is the most important part when building a DOS dash Windows 98 gaming PC today. That's the sound card. So we can adjust the sound card. We have some different uh, LED LED uh, the thing is that shows us what's going on. We got something here that I don't know. I don't know what that is. Let's look at this side here. We have this lovely connection, and I'm gonna show what that is in a minute. This is the on and off switch. So if this one is up here, then you can turn the machine on, push it to the side, and you can turn the computer on. And on the back side, here we got the PSU to give us some power. This part is really nice. We can connect PS2, keyboard or mouse connection here on the back. That's great. We got some fan action. Nice. We got a, 
I think it's called a serial port, COM port. I think it's a serial port. But look at this, guys. It's got a USB connection, so you can insert USB mouse or yeah, USB thumbstick, so you can transfer files. It's got a connector here. I don't know if that's Toshiba's docking plug. Don't know. Infrared parallel port, and look at this, guys. VGA out. So if this one works fine and the display is dead, then you can just, you know, connect it to a uh, normal flat screen LCD monitor and uh, still be able to play Windows 98 or, in my <laughs> um, opinion, DOS games. That would be great. This is for adjusting. Um, this is maybe for the brightness on the monitor. I'm gonna find out off, off the screen. Again, see the ROM drive here. P two PCM PCM CIA slots and a lock mechanism for the PCM CIA slot. And something over here. <laughs> All right, guys, we got. As you can see here, we got the original PSU. Again, from Toshiba, that's nice. The voltage is correct. So it is this one, that's nice. Let's give it some power. Other than that, my favorite thing. <laughs> the thing that this one um, is missing is actually something for these old disk drives, uh, disks. Uh, so we have a an original, same color, Toshiba external 1.44 mix of floppy drive isn't that great i i love this that they have made this one external so they have the built-in cd-rom drive so if you have a use for a disk drive then you could just plug this one in here and that's about it so let's turn this baby on and let's see what's going to happen guys all right the indica LED indicators here, we got two of them. It's got power and it's recharging the battery, as I can see. So, this is nice. Let's move the camera just a bit. I mean, look at this, guys. The sound card, that's the most important part. So, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, before I turn it on, I have a... Because, as you can see, it's got this little tab. This is the mouse tab. And I remember from back then that... It was just the worst way to control a computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install. There we go, a USB mouse. All right, guys. I mean, DOS gaming, that would be perfect on this one. It's just a bit dusty, but... Um, yeah, needs just a tad of cleaning. <laughs> All right, 48 megabytes of RAM from 1997. Intel Pension 1. We have to adjust this, guys. Yeah, like this. And um, I don't think I have to adjust the contrast. It, it, it looks fine. Uh, Oh, not on the camera. Okay, the picture quality, it's much, much better on the real deal than, than what you... Oh, it looks so bad on the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but uh, it, it's way better than this. Ah, the mouse works. That's nice. Okay, we also have the mouse controlled here, but... Up, down, right, left. Yeah, you can control it with this, but... Um, Nah, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use this external Dell um, optical mouse or what's it called? Yeah. So I don't know if you heard anything, but it made some sound. First thing I want to test is the disk drive. <laughs> I'm gonna see if this external drive if it works. Proper, the proper way. I just put in it. Oh, you can. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just. You can hear it probably. 
Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. So the external disk drive, that one works. That's fine. Let's just check off the disk here. I am gonna test the. I'm gonna look at what's inside this one. So Windows 98 Second Edition. 48 megs of RAM, Intel Pension processor, genuine Intel. Don't know how many megahertz. Uh, I probably have to check it in BIOS and, and see what's gonna happen. But the fun part is, I mean, 12 gigabyte of hard disk in this old machine must be incredible to have back then. So we have CD-ROM disk display. Chips and Technologies 6555 PCI. That's the display, that's the graphic card. Floppy disk controller, standard floppy hard disk, standard hard disk. Infrared devices, it's got a infrared communication device on the back side that we, we could see. Can you read it? Oh, I. Oh, it does not look that good on the camera, guys, but uh, bear with me now. Monitors. Uh, that's just plug and play. Um, let's look at... Oh, I don't have that much store. Wait, I will move my hand over here. All right, so mouse, that must be the external mouse and the internal mouse or something like that. We got Toshiba Network thingy all right and PCMCA the sound there we have oh USB yeah the, the USB works be because you can see uh, I'm using a USB mouse so that's great Windows 98 <laughs> USB yeah. it, it just it makes everything a lot easier you transferring games and all that when you have the USB is I don't know if you have worked with old DOS machines but having USB makes it so so much easier sound it's oh. yamaha opl3 <laughs> okay opl3 it's got an amazing amazing sound card installed i mean this computer is I wouldn't use it because of the size of the monitor that it's just too small I would never ever use that but it's got a VGA out so you can just plug it into a 40 inch monitor you know and play the old DOS games with amazing sound quality Yamaha OPL3 SAXW DM driver great sound card um, no, nothing is installed uh, with its original drivers this is just um, just a clean Windows 98 um, installation and that's about it and it runs 256 colors 800 by 600 that's the, not the best uh, color management it, it, it there should be a fan over here if we install the proper drivers then we can manage uh, more stuff this is just a this is just a standard drivers here software version 4.0 memory it's got two megabyte of graphic uh, graphical memory that was great back then so yeah this is nice guys let's take a look at the hard disk here So we have we have games. Nice. We have Civilization, Megalomania, XCOM, UFO, Enemy Unknown, Dune 2. Oh yes. Oh, the scrolling uh, wheel does also work. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, let's do setup here. Let's do a 
bigger screen. There we go, Westworld Studios. Yeah, we're gonna set this one up. I loved using all this on back in the dust days. Okay, no music, Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster Pro, Adlib Gold, MT32, LAPC1, Sound, Kevas, Adlib, Tandy, 3 voice or PC speaker. Now, this is the first time I have had an OPL. So, I uh, Yamaha OPL chip. So, <laughs> I actually don't know which one to choose, guys. But I would be bold and take number 5, MG32. <laughs> Let's just try that one. Where is it? Number 5. All right. Play sound effects from, again, I'm going to take number 5, MG32. I don't know. Or... Uh, Maybe I should just check Sound Blaster, but I'm just going to pick that MT32. So play digitized samples from no digitized sound, Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster Pro, or Adlib Gold. I'm going to choose number two, Sound Blaster, all right? Extended memory detected. Yes, use it. Use a mouse, yes. And save and exit. Save successful. Exit setup. Um, Dune 2 for start the game. So we have the Dune 2 icon here, and okay, the it's not it's not the the best way to test the sound because as you can see this little hole here and here that I mean all these old laptops also new laptops <laughs> with these small speakers speakers the sound quality is really bad and through the camera. Whoa! It does not sound like the Sound Blaster. It is different. I've played this game too. Yeah. Oh, it's different. Wait, I will. <laughs> it's got speech. Okay, I have to put on some external speakers, guys, because. Oh, this is nice. I love to experience the music, the sound, uh, you know. Uh, for you, it does not sound that good, but for me, it, it's... It's so good. I remember the melody, but uh, all the instruments, everything is just different. Okay, escape. Enter space mouse. Oh, I remember this. Um, if you don't have no save game first time installed, then you have to see all this. So let's just skip this one and uh, do it the hard way. Let's say close. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, there we go. Oh, the sound card, guys. We got Larry Six. We got I have to behold the two. We got Raptor. Oh man. That's nice. So we are going to insert setup here. Let's take the full screen again. Let me see. I mean, the picture quality on the camera. I'm so sorry, guys. It does not look that good. But um, all right, look at this. It's a sound card wave blaster. We can take general MIDI, sound canvas, wave blaster, A32, sound blaster, ad lib. But it, it is on Wave Blaster, so let's just leave it like that. MIDI port 330, don't know. Sound card. It's not possible to, when it's sound effects, then you can't choose Wave Blaster, but it's on Sound Blaster. 225 and 1, probably, yeah. Eight channels, there we go. So let's save this one. And let's wrap it. <laughs> Work. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Also here, the Toshiba model 220 CS. And it's designed for Windows 95. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so if we take, why is the screen like this? Why is it not full screen? Wait, let's, options, game options. What? You can, okay, yes, I don't know why. You could see in, in Windows and all that, it uses as full screen, but here it switches to, I don't know. Well, that's odd. So, name. Retro Django to the rescue, call sign, uh, veteran. And playing this game, you have to choose the music, you have to choose autopilot. First mission, autopilot, one of my favorite tunes, man. Let's listen. Oh, that's nice. I took the um, volume down on um, sound effects. We have to listen to it to a, a point. Let me just pause this. What should I choose? General MIDI, Sound Blaster? What do you choose when you have a OPL3 Yamaha? I don't know. This is Wave Table. But two seconds, guys. The part is coming up. Oh, it sounds so good for me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is a review of my Toshiba computer. And you know, guys, it just, it works great. And it's in lovely, lovely condition. It's just odd with the uh, screen is getting. Oh, oh, oh. Full power. Oh, it's nice. It works. All right, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is how the Toshiba 220 CS works, plays, sounds, looks. It's got a major RAM board, 48 megabytes of RAM. It's, I mean, for DOS gaming, incredible. I mean, this machine would be great to... Um, to set up to a big monitor and uh, and just enjoy all those old DOS games. Man, it just works. Nothing to do, just uh, dust it a bit. Uh, other than that, plays great. And it's got the connection for, I got the best part here, guys, we saw it earlier. But here, wait, wait, what, while I'm talking, we have to listen to that again. Wait, 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 guys. There we go. As you can see here, we got sound output. So from here, you could put in some, uh, yeah, over to an amplifier and big speakers and listen to all the old DOS games with the Yamaha OPL sound card. It's amazing. Um, I'm gonna test some other games now. I saw it, that there were, um, Megalomania, I love Megalomania. One of my favorite games back on my Amiga 600. And then I think after listening to this, I'm gonna buy an, a, a sound card with Yamaha OPL3 chip because I love this. Wait! You know why I like that? Because it reminds me of the childhood Commodore 64 sit tunes. I, I love it when it just geeks out like that. It, it, it sounds incredible. And this OPL3 is just approved by Retro Django. You know me, when I like something, 
I'm totally honest, man. I uh, and if I if I don't like it, then I will uh, give it my honest opinion, guys. So. Uh, well, this one is a nice, nice computer, and we have the external disk drive over there. That's just, that's great. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with this and enjoy my Sunday. And I hope you will also enjoy yours, guys, because, uh, as I always say, just do whatever you like, whatever, uh, whatever that 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 makes you happy. This makes me happy, so. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Until next time, have some fun guys. Bye.